So you have the question, does Toastmasters help with the fear of public speaking? Well, have you ever been to a Toastmasters meeting? Have you ever been a part of it? I'm going to encourage you that you should go because it will actually help you to get over your fear of public speaking if you have that fear and it'll give you more opportunities to get up in front of people. So let's go jump right in. First of all, I want you to go to toastmasters.org forward slash about, because maybe you don't even know what Toastmasters is, but you've heard about it. Toastmasters is essentially just a group of people in your community, not even the whole city. There might be multiple Toastmasters groups all over your very city. They could be even in your neighborhood. They're that prevalent. So go to toastmasters.org forward slash about. I want you to check out where a meeting would be for yourself. The thing is, is that Toastmasters is where people come together that want to be better speakers, that want to practice a few things, they get to just all practice with each other. It's not like anybody's leading the whole class in terms of like a particular teacher each time. So go check out that opportunity to be a speaker at these. If you do have a fear of speaking, honestly, this could make it worse, you know, like, oh man, I'm speaking all the time. It's time to face that fear though. Toastmasters is a perfect place to practice, to fail, to practice to succeed, to practice to make something happen. So I encourage you to check them out. And before we jump right into what Toastmasters offers and some of the things that you can learn about Toastmasters and some of the ways that it helps you get over your fear of, it, of speaking, I want you to also realize that I made other videos very similar to this that aren't necessarily just about Toastmasters. We're gonna obviously dive into Toastmasters now, but you might wanna also check out one other video that I made in particular. It's called How to Get Over a Fear of Public Speaking. So a lot of people have that fear of public speaking and Toastmasters is one way that you can go to get over it. I share a lot of other cool tips on that video too, so go check that out on this channel. Here's some more information on Toastmasters if you're unfamiliar with them, then let's talk about how this can help you. Toastmasters International is a nonprofit organization worldwide that helps people, leaders, teachers, anybody that wants to go to become a better speaker. The membership is about 280,000 people. Yes, they are strong. They have a lot of people going. So you're gonna be one in many that's working on becoming better. That's the perfect place to learn and to face your fear of public speaking. Members pay international dues of $60 every six months. So it's pretty nominal to go do something that's really going to help you a lot. So like I said earlier, there is no teacher in this setting. Everybody gets a different role. Everybody shows up and is assigned something if they're willing to participate. I hope that you'll go be willing to participate and take on one of these interesting roles. The first one is called Toastmaster of the Day. They're actually the host of the meeting, so they'll get everyone together and they're kind of like the MC. It's a great place to practice being a master of ceremonies. Then there's a timer and an evaluator there are a couple of other people that actually when someone is invited up to speak and share a message for three, five minutes, however long that has been assigned for that moment, the timer keeps track of the time, the evaluator does some evaluating. Do you see what I'm saying? It's pretty cool the different roles they have. One of my favorite roles at Toastmasters is called grammarian. <laughs> and the grammarian has a word that if you insert that word into your speech, well, everybody applauds. They also have the ah counter role. Okay, what does that mean? That's the person that counts how many likes, you knows, ah, um, all those types of filler words that we don't want in there. They actually count those. So if now you're scared, now you don't even wanna go. <laughs> no, it, what's fun about it is it actually truly helps you get to another level of speaking to have that ah counter there. So my challenge to you is the following. Number one, find a meeting to go to for Toastmasters in your area. Again, to toastmasters.org, Find somewhere where you can go and meet. There's probably a meeting really close to you at a great time. You should go as soon as you can. Number two, I want you to commit to going to that meeting with a friend because if you make a promise to somebody that you're gonna go together, you both will show up and you will participate. It's way more fun to succeed and or fail together than alone. Here's the thing, if you don't commit to going with a friend, you may very well talk yourself out of going. So commit to going with a friend, that'll be way more fun. Number three, put it on your calendar and dress well. Dressing well means, you know, put your best face forward. You want to show up as a person who's serious about becoming better and this will actually help your anxiety go down or your fear of public speaking because you know you look good. I also would love for you to commit to taking on a role if you're asked. So, because you look the part, hey, commit to taking on one of those roles. 
Try to get the ah counter, that's so fun. Number four, be fully present in the meeting. Yeah, for sure, I mean, you want to go all in. You want to participate, you want to listen, you want to cheer others on. The more that you participate with others, the more your fear is going to start to subside. Number five, be encouraging of others. The more that you play in the sandbox, the better things are going to be. Watching others and seeing how good they are or how not so good they are actually helps you to improve yourself. Before I share the final points that I prepared for you on this video, I'd love it for you to consider checking out one other video that I made in particular about the fear of speaking. So often there are people that are concerned about this and whether they have a Toastmasters to go to or they don't even want to go at all. I made a video in particular about something really interesting about anxiety that I'd like you to consider. Watch the video called, How Can Anxiety Be Useful in Public Speaking? I truly believe it can be a superpower that you can use to prepare yourself and to be the best speaker possible. So I hope that you go check that out. Let's keep going with the points. Number six, when it's your turn to speak, oh, here we go. I want you to acknowledge that you're scared or that you're nervous or that you have a fear of public speaking. That will be something that everyone will be able to relate to. Vulnerability and authenticity really reaches across the table with the people that you're talking to. They'll feel you and they'll understand you. They'll send you good vibes and you'll feel a part of the group in no time. Number seven, instead of looking at the floor, instead of looking at your notes, I want you to commit to looking in the eyes of the participants that are there. I've made other videos about the importance of making eye contact. I believe it's important at Toastmasters as well to practice this concept because if you're the type of speaker that's willing to look a person in the eye in the audience, it allows you to have more power. It gives more audience feedback and recognition. It's a wonderful thing to have great eye contact. So prior to attending your first Toastmasters event, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go into the comments below in this video. I want you to rate yourself in terms of fear of public speaking from one to a hundred. Let's do that. One to a hundred. A hundred being the highest, you're terrified of speaking. I want you to put it in the comments how terrified you are. I'm going to respond to you and I hope that you'll also commit to going and doing these Toastmaster meetings. When you face your fear, when you commit to living the promise that you want to become a better public speaker, and when you go to a Toastmasters meeting, I can promise you this. You will face your fear, you will get better, and you will be an awesome speaker. I wish you well at your next Toastmasters event. Thanks for joining me today.